Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to figure out formula for ln of negative x. ln of degenerates, if you're watching, this is for you. Where x is just a positive real number, so we really have ln of a negative number inside. And as we know, ln of a negative number is not defined in the real world. However, in the complex world, we can do a lot more, right? Therefore, let's take a look at how this is going to go in the complex situation. And by the way, this is not my idea. This is actually done by Leon. He is one of my subscribers, and this is his way of coming up the proof for the formula of ln of negative x. And let's see how it goes, right? So first of all, of course, we will just say that ln of negative x to be a complex number to begin with, right? So we'll just call this to be a plus bi, namely the standard form of a complex number. And we also know that a and b are just some real numbers. So this is the notation for that. And our goal is to figure out what a and b are so that we can have a formula nicely, isn't it? OK, here we go. Starting from ln, let's just do e to this power and e to that power, right? So that this and that will cancel. And we'll end up with negative x equal e to a plus bi power. It's the same as saying e to the a power times e to the bi power, right? And we can look at, well, this is the trouble. e to the bi, we have a complex exponent. But this is not bad at all, because we can use the Euler's formula to take care of that, right? So we can take care of this. And in the meantime, let's also divide e to the a on both sides, right? So cancel this out. So we have negative x over e to the a. And this right here, e to the bi, by the Euler's formula, we know this is going to be cosine of the b plus i times sine of the b right here, right? OK, now what is the deal? On the right hand side, we have a complex number. But in fact, the left hand side, look, negative x, x is real. Of course, negative x is also real. a is real, e is real. So the left hand side entirely is real. But the right hand side suggests that it's a complex number, which doesn't make sense, unless we kill this term, right? Therefore, in this case, we need to have, let me just indicate, we need sine of b to be 0, OK? And if you look at the unit circle real quick, sine is the y value on the unit circle. So we can have this right here, this right here, namely 0, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, so on. And we can also uh, go backwards. So negative pi, negative 2 pi, and so on, right? So we must have b equal to n pi, right? Where n is an integer, OK? In fact, we can do more. Because this right here, at the moment, you can go either way, like negative, positive, and so on, right? And then this is 0 pi, 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, and so on, right? Let's take a look at this. This is cosine b. On the left hand side, OK, we have x. This is positive because right here, x is greater than 0. So this is positive, all right? This is positive. And then we know a is real. So e to the a is always positive. So this is actually suggests us negative, positive, negative. So we must have cosine b to be Negative. Uh, let me just say equal to a negative. <laughs> so combine this and that, I need to have b in the form of n pi, right? Well, I also need to have negative cosine value because once again, the left hand side is negative. That means cosine has to be right here to be negative, right? So in another word, combine these two ideas together, n has to be odd, an odd integer, because it has to be always coming right here. Cosine value right here, it's negative, all right? OK, so we have <laughs> this right here. b is just n pi, where n is an odd integer. And that will help us right here. Now we have to figure out what a is. OK, now let's just look at this again. B we know already, which is n pi, and we keep in mind n is odd, right? So we'll just put down n pi, and we have the i right here, 
So we have n pi i. Okay, why don't we just do e to this power, e to that power again? So on the left hand side, we'll just do e this power, e to that power. So this and that cancel. We have negative x equal e to the a again. And this is times e to the n pi i. And do we know what this is going to be? Yes, we do. Because n is an odd integer. And if you would like, you can just uh, work this out again right here, which you kill this term. And cosine of n pi, where n is odd, is going to be negative 1, right? So this is the same as saying negative x equal to e to the a times this is the negative 1 from this picture here, right? It's just the cosine value. And of course, we can divide by negative 1 on both sides. Namely, we get x is equal to e to the a. And look at x is real and it's positive, and a is also real and it's also positive, all right? So what we can do is we can now take the ln both sides so that this and that will cancel. And that means we have a is equal to ln of positive x, right? And notice x is a positive real number, so you know this right here is a real number. And we are done because we got a, we also got the b. And now we can just plug in this and that into the original a plus b i form for the ln of negative x. So finally, let me present this to you guys. ln of negative x, this is equal to a, which is this, ln of the Pass the x, right? Notice this right here, it's ln of a negative number. We have to first have ln of the positive version of the x. And then we add it with the b, which is m pi. So let me just put down m pi right here. And at the end, we have to multiply that by i. And the final touch is that you have to know n. Where n is an odd integer. Right? So this is the final touch. And that's it. And hopefully you guys like this video, and thank you so much, Leon, for sending me the file. I'm sorry, it took me a while, and I forgot about uh, your message. But anyway, this is it.